In this recording, we look at how to integrate rational functions of the form a1x plus a0 divided by b1x plus b0, that is rational functions where both the numerator and the denominator are linear functions. And one of the best ways to solve this is to use integration by substitution with the expression on the denominator b1x plus b0 equal to u, say. So let's illustrate this process with the example of finding the integral of 5x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 4 with respect to x. Helps to think of it in the form 1 divided by 2x minus 4 times 5x plus 3 dx, which is an equivalent expression. So letting u equal the expression on the denominator, which is 2x minus 4, then what we want to do is substitute in u so that the expression is simpler. But if we replace 2x minus 4 with u, we also need to replace the rest of this expression in terms of u and a du at the end. So let's look at the dx part first of all du dx would be equal to 2. So rearranging that, du equals 2 dx, meaning that the dx part of this could just be written as a half du. But we still have this 5x plus 3 part, which will we need to be written in terms of u. And in order to do that, we saw that u was in fact equal to 2x minus 4. So the strategy here is to rearrange that expression for u to make x the subject. And then once we have done that, we can just substitute in our expression for x in there, which will give that 5x plus 3 rewritten in terms of u. That is, since u was equal to 2x minus 4, Rearranging that, we find that 2x is equal to u plus 4, hence x is equal to u plus 4 divided by 2. Or, slightly more simply, x is equal to u divided by 2 plus 2. So then, our required expression involved 5x plus 3. So this is summarising what we have found so far. So therefore, 5x plus 3, which is what we're wanting to rewrite in terms of u, is the same as 5 times u divided by 2 plus 2, subbing that in for x, plus 3. Then tidying that up a bit, it becomes 5u divided by 2 plus 5 twos are 10 plus 3. Hence, in terms of u, 5x plus 3 can be written as 5u divided by 2 plus 13. And with that information and our earlier information about u and du, we can then rewrite our initial integral in terms of u. So going through step by step, given this information, which I've summarised here, the first bit, integral of 1 divided by 2x minus 4, that becomes integral of 1 divided by u. The 5x plus 3 part then becomes replaced with 5u divided by 2, plus 13, and the dx part is replaced with 1 half du. So we now have an integral, as required, fully in terms of u and du. And though it might not look like that initially, when we tidy this up a bit, it will actually be a lot simpler to evaluate than the expression in its original form. So to simplify, let's first expand the brackets. So integral of 1 divided by u times 5u divided by 2 plus 1 divided by u times 13 and all of that is still multiplied by a half du. 
Now that one half is just a constant, so that could be taken outside the integral sign. Then 1 divided by u times 5u divided by 2, the u's cancel there, so that just becomes 5 divided by 2. And this other expression is 13 multiplied by 1 divided by u, and we're integrating that with respect to u. And this integral is now relatively straightforward to evaluate. The integral of 5 divided by 2 with respect to u, that is just 5 divided by 2 times u, or 5u divided by 2, 13 times 1 divided by u. Again, 13 being a constant would just be multiplied by the integral of 1 divided by u, which becomes a natural log of the absolute value of u, and then all of this is plus a constant c. So we could tidy that up a bit by expanding the brackets here. So 1 half times 5 divided by 2 times u, that's 5u divided by 4. This next expression, a half times 13 ln u, is just 13 ln absolute value of u divided by 2 plus c. So finally, we can now rewrite this in terms of x, because u was 2x minus 4, so substituting that back in, we will obtain 5 times 2x minus 4 divided by 4 plus 13 ln absolute value of 2x minus 4 divided by 2 plus constant c. And depending on how we wanted to present the answer, obviously we could expand that 5 times 2x minus 4 if appropriate, but this means we have now evaluated our integral. So if we look back at what we did, we had a linear function divided by another linear function, so we let the linear function on the denominator equal u, that then allowed us to do a substitution in order to be able to evaluate our integral.